Now, Windows Admin Center is up and running and our first task is to integrate our virtualization infrastructure with Windows Admin Center. So here you can see I have a number of virtualization servers over here. So I need to integrate all these uh, uh, virtualization hosts to my Windows Admin Center. So here we go. If we want to integrate any Hyper-V host with, uh, with Windows Admin Center, so just click on the Add button. When we click on the Add button here, you can see there are lots of options available which you can use to integrate your resources with Windows Admin Center. So we have servers. If you want to add the physical servers to uh, with, with uh, window, Windows Admin Center, so we can add from here. And if you want to add Windows PCs like Windows 10 and Windows 11 machines over here, so you can also integrate those machines from this option. And if we move forward here, you can see server cluster, which mentioned that, or you can say, which is showing that now this Windows Admin Center has the capabilities to add, implement, monitor, and manage HCI or hyper converged infrastructure clusters, uh, which, which are uh, running in your uh, IT data center. And here you go. Azure VM, so which shows that if we want to manage any kind of Azure infrastructure, so we can perform number of tasks related to the Azure VMs as well. So the simple thing is that we need to add the physical host over here. So I just uh, type the IP address of the uh, physical host. So it will try and searching for the IP host Now here you can see I just put the IP address and it resolved by the DNS server. So I just need to click on the add button. And here you can see now the machine is added over here. So the same machine uh, which we just find uh, in our Hyper-V manager, here you can see this machine is connected over here. So let's explore the options and uh, uh, features related to the Windows Admin Center. So I just click on uh, the new added host machine and as new window appeal, uh, appear over here. So we will find lots of options related to the administration, monitoring, implementation and security. Now the magic has happened here. You can see uh, if we click on the overview button so we can get lots of information uh, related to the host machine. So here in a single window, we find a detailed information about the computer name, about its domain, operating system, uh, disk size, uh, installed memory, version, uh, processor type, manufacturer, and lots of things related to uh, the host machine. And if we move forward in a single window, here you can see about the utilization report of the CPU. And here is the memory utilization. And if we talk about the Ethernet services, so here we go with the uh, Ethernet performance monitoring. So you can uh, see the send and receive data over here and the memory utilization and the processor as well. And if we move forward and click on the virtual machines, so here you can see we have the virtual machine option over here. So I just need to click on the virtual machines and we will get detailed information in a single window, a window about all kinds of virtual machines which are generally implemented on this host machine. Now you can see if we explore the virtual machine options. So here are the virtual machine names. Here we can see the states of the virtual machines if they are stopped, running, pause, or any kind of other status related to the uh, related to any kind of errors. Here you can see 
virtual processors uh, uh, how many processors assigned to a single virtual machine is also defined over here and here we can see the host uh, uh, host name of the server and here the cpu utilization of the host machine so uh, the virtual machine sorry and here you can see the assigned memory so we can uh, see over here that 16 16 gbs and here you can see 8 gb of the memory assigned to the virtual machine the important thing is that here you can see the option of memory pressure so the assigned memory is 16 gb while if you think about the memory pressure so this virtual machine consume 87 percent of the memory which is showing that this uh, virtual machine require more memory. Generally, when we talk about the Hyper-V manager, we did not find this option inside the Hyper-V. And here you can see, if you look into the second machine here, the memory pressure is 122%, which means that this machine require more memory. At least here you can see, we just assign 8 GB of the memory while the requirement is almost about 10 GB, which shows that we must have to assign almost 12 GB or 16 GB of, uh, of memory to this virtual machine. And if we explore further, here you can see 96%, 120%. So this tool provide detailed information, not only about the overview of the virtual machines, but about the memory utilization, memory pressure, CPU utilization, and all other information which which we require uh, related to the virtual machines. And if you think uh, this information is limited and you require more columns to uh, get detailed information about the virtual machines, so this option is available over here. So here you can see, we will find lots of other options. The virtual machine uh, name states all uh, these options are available by default. And if you want to add other columns, so here we go. When we click on this option, here you can see uh, we can find information and add column about a number of disks about number of NICs, heartbeat, disaster recovery status, IP addresses, creation time, dynamic memory, startup memory, generation, and lots of other information. Here you can see replication state, replication mode, replication health. So it means that if you require more information, so you can add uh, these all columns from this single option over here. So uh, let me add an other column. So uh, let's think we, we need to uh, get information about the generation. So we just need to click and save. And uh, as we done with this changes, so we will get uh, soon, we will get detailed information about the generation as well. We just made the changes. So that's why uh, as we get refresh this page, so definitely uh, we will get detailed information about the virtual machine generations. So we get refresh the page, but it's still uh, this Windows Admin Center is unable to uh, get information about the generation. But soon when, when uh, these virtual machines properly uh, get connected with the Windows Admin Center, so we will definitely get other information related to the generation. And if we move forward, uh, here you can see we have the firewall options available over here from where we can easily manage all kinds of firewalls related to this host machine. So here we have incoming rules, we have outgoing rules. So here you can see uh, three major domains. The first one is uh, uh, domain and uh, the second one is a private while the third one is public and if you want to see incoming rules outgoing rules we can find detailed information about all other aspects
In the same manner, if we want to get detailed information about the virtual switches, so the information is available over here. And in the same manner, a storage option is also available over here. And when we uh, talk about the monitoring, so the monitoring options are also available over here. Here you can see the packet monitoring and uh, performance monitoring options available over here. It means that uh, the first option which we discuss uh, in, in the earlier episode where we are trying to find a tool which provide administration, management, implementation, monitoring and security in a single window. So Windows Admin Center is completely capable to provide all these kinds of facilities related to uh, the Hyper-V infrastructure management and any kind of IT data center management. So in the coming episode, we will explore further options related to the Windows Admin Center.